Hello again everyone! I have been sick for the past two days, which is why I didn't put out a video, but since I am doing much better now, I have a ton of stuff to show you, and I mean tons. Ever since I came back from Nam's house after filming the new Nam's Nerf lessons, I have been getting packages upon packages of stuff, so I thought I'd show you, let's see, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, four packages, kind of four, yeah, four. Um, Packages to show you, and I've also done two uh, Nerf blasters, so I thought I'd go over everything. So let's first get these two blasters out of the way before I get into the goodness of the packages. But one of the things I did was a Big Bad Bow. I've been wanting to do a Big Bad Bow for a while, and I finally got one from a wonderful person down where I was playing HVZ. Um, I followed Chicken's Guy, which you can find on Nerf Revolution. He does really fantastic uh, Big Bad Bows. K26 plus stock. I need to work on the seal on this. Uh, I don't know why the seal is doing so bad, but it needs lots of work. So I'll go back in this and up the seal and get everything nice. But this has pretty good draw with my bad elbow. It, I can still feel kind of a tension going on when I try and pull this thing back. But it's hitting about 75 with a terrible seal in it. So there should be some good ranges once I get that seal up to 100. And I've also made this with the help of Nam, I call it Shaniqua because I've decided to call all my blasters after ghetto names. Don't ask. So this is an executive marshmallow blaster and this is a really interesting blaster. It's a giant back pressure tank uh, all in here and it's pretty finicky but it does hit around 95 so. Still have the stop pump. I, and it, I, I do it to 20 just to be sure I get up to full because there's really no overpressure release. There, you don't hear any tss or poop. But um, when you do fire it, it makes a lot of noise. And this thing is really fun to play with because it's so small. I mean, just look how small that is. And you get about 90, 95. You can hit about 100. But like I said, right now you can hear it. It is finicky, so I need to find a way to make sure it doesn't release air when I'm trying to pump it like that or sometimes when I'm up to 10 pumps it just likes to fire out so I can't have this loaded when I'm pumping because it's really scary. But with those two things out of the way, let's go on to some packages. So the first package I got is from Chicken and Old Guy who are some fellow Georgia Nerfers and awesome ones at that. They got me a big old box of stuff because I was one of the first four people to do dibs on this giant lot they got from a dude on one of the forums. So. I got myself, uh, let's save that one for last, I got a new Unbox AirTech 2000 to go with the twin pack I have right over there. I still need to put some mantles on the wall to uh, frame all this stuff and show it off. But yes, a lovely 2K and a, with the goo gauge flap still on there, so that's nice. I also got a semi-rare, I call it semi-rare because you don't really see these things pop up too much, but I will do a review on this later, even though Atani and some other people have done it. But I got a... I think it's called a Wayne Tech Tri System Blaster, but these things are really weird. Um, I'll give you a little preview. Push this, pull that, and pull on that, and you got yourself this <laughs> weird, funky little blaster. Tons of fun to play with, even though the ranges suck, but it's, it, it, it's just, I don't know what to say about this. It's just such a kooky little blaster, but... Uh, I have all the darts except I'm missing one. I think it's over at Nom's house because we were firing it off. But yeah, I have all the cool little darts that go with it. So I'm actually really happy I got this and for a pretty cheap price because this thing is just so much fun to screw around with. So put this back together. There we go. And I think the best thing I got out of this buy would have to be, let me put this. I don't want to squeeze off the... Uh, fins there, but I think one of the nicest things I got, and I was really excited to see that they had this, was a new Unbox Creamsicle Big Blast, and I'm so happy that I have this. A little bit of scuff on the front there, but that's easily fixable. Just put down a little bit of glue and clean off that scuff, but this thing is not coming out of the box for a long time because I just love how this thing looks. It's such a pretty pink color, color scheme. It's just, I don't know, something about the neon orange really gets to me. So that's what I got from Chicken. Some other stuff I got. Let me uh, get this little eBay thing out of the way since I need to open this. As some of you were asking on one of my last videos about the Battlefield 3 
uh, thing. Yes, I'm a huge gamer. I love gaming. It is a huge part of my life, and I actually have right here the receipt for the Starhawk pre-order, which I'm so excited about. Anyways, in this package that I got from eBay, I got me a new N64 controller because my other one got fucked up. So that's that. Also, regarding gaming, I went to a Goodwill, and this was a while ago, but this is just such a fun find. I got myself a Dreamcast. The Sega Dreamcast came with all the hookups and two controllers, one which had a memory card. So that was pretty awesome. But back to Nerf stuff. Oh, which one? I'll start with this one. Actually, I'll start with this one. So many boxes. So I did a deal with a guy on Nerf Revolution named Musa, and he is a fantastic guy to do business with. Stuff came fast. It is wonderfully wrapped. I mean, there's a ton of this stuff in there, so put that aside. Now, inside the box, we have some ballistic balls, new in package. So these are going to stay new in package because... I mean, there's kind of vintage and kind of cool, and uh, yeah, I, I just like how it looks. And plus on the back, apparently I got one point <laughs> for getting these, according to the Nerf Club. I don't think that's in existence anymore, but hey, I would have had one point. Let's see, I got another pack of balls, do a package. So those are the 10 balls I got. More packaging, lots and lots of packaging. Is it? Yes, yes, I'm excited about this. I was hoping I'd get this. There were two of them, and apparently I got the more awesome one. I just got myself a purple big bag bow, so I was crossing my fingers I'd get that. He didn't tell me which one I'd get, but I got the purple one, so goody goody. Haha, <laughs> yes, I have a red and purple one now. Awesome. I was trying to think of something awesome to do with that. I'll probably commission it to Chicken because he does wonderful big bad bows. More packaging, and I also got... Another Aerostorm. I have three now. Two of them I have not done anything with. This one does not have stickers on it, but that doesn't really bother me. This one's a little stiff, so I'll have to go back in there and loop it up and increase the seal. And I'll probably modify this, but awesome. Three Aerostorms, can't go wrong with that. And I will definitely reuse this box and that packaging. Let's see, I will probably go over this one last. But the second big box I got is from a dude named Chaz. I'll just call him Chaz for short. He basically said, hey, Bobo, would you... <laughs> he said, I got two of these, and would you like to buy them? I said, hell yes. Well, I'll give you a hint. They involve these balls, and this one has a nice little face on it. I like that. But um, I just bought... From this dude. Oh, I got a letter. Cool. Let's read this first. <laughs> Bubble Lolo, sorry again about the delay and the dust. The nooks and crannies on these suck to clean, but I got most of it. To make up for it, I drew faces on four of the balls. Oh, and I didn't have packaging tape. Yay, neon duct tape. A sticker sloth has been included. <laughs> Says, I got my box. <laughs> awesome. So, this guy sent me, drum roll please. Two pulsators because I really love pulsators. <laughs> so I got two more pulsators and I could not be happier. So I'm going to be sending money his way as right after this video, but these look to be in pretty darn good condition. Yeah. So I got two more pulsators up in mind to three as I gave one away. I would have four, but I have three. Uh, I think I have an addiction to these things, but yeah, so I got... <laughs> Two more pulsators. I know you jelly bro. So there's that. And the last thing I got, let me make sure there's nothing else in here. Oh, and uh, fun fact about me, I like reading the newspapers from other states because I find that Georgia news gets old after a while and I like seeing what's going on in other states. I don't know, it's just kind of a fun little thing to do is. Oh, and I also like seeing grocery store prices for stuff. I don't know why, because I feel like Things are cheaper elsewhere. And the last thing I got was from Sclover on the HBZ forums. And in this little envelope, there are doo -doo 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 -doo, HBZ forum stickers. And apparently I got a little pamphlet. Awesome. Sweet. Official HBZ stuff. Join us. I got a little pamphlet that includes uh, the rules. This is, I did not expect this, but just that's really cool. I like that. And uh, apparently I can call them. <laughs> but I got me some new stickers, another business card, 
And yeah, look at that. Oh man, that's a lot of stickers. I got me some stickers and buttons, which I'm really excited about. So I'll be putting a couple more of these on my car because I love them. So thank you to Sclover and the awesome guys at the HVZ forums for this free stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Buttons and stickers is in the last package, so that is exciting. Anyways, to all the people I've done business with and uh, to everyone who sent me stuff, uh, thanks for sending me the stuff and nice quick packages and I will get right back to you. But uh, yeah, in the future I will definitely be doing a review on this thing because this thing is just ridiculously fun and I think the world should know about it. So yeah, anyways, just an update video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will make a video for you guys later.